so I'd like to welcome uh, Ruth Lund as the, the Programme Director for Interreg Northwest Europe, who I think is going to give us a bit of information about the new programme that some of you might find interesting, and just say a few remarks to, to close the conference. So Ruth, please, of course, you're Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you, Sean, for the introduction. Um, right, circles. I think uh, we started a bit with the European uh, Union today. Um, I'll go back a bit. You know, we started with uh, European uh, uh, um, levels. Um, perhaps it's my turn to go back a bit, but then tell you a little bit about the place of NLG within the, let's say, the program, which comes to an end at the end of this year, uh, and then look a little bit forward into um, potential uh, options for future ventures. Um, see where, yeah, it listens to me. Well, so that was what I was, uh, was saying, back to European now. Um, there is a little thing I want to uh, remind you of, because you probably all think that you're here in an algae conference, but in fact you are in a cohesion conference, because this project is funded from cohesion money. And cohesion has, uh, obviously, uh, purposes. Um, of course, the word cohesion, and I think we, that is very uh, active, uh, actual at the moment, means a lot of things like um, collaboration, of course, um, our program is definitely about that. Reducing disparities, um, <coughs> creating opportunities for, for, for um, areas and territories, and solidarity. Um, it's just a little side path I would like to make. Uh, last Friday, the, the Commissioner for, for Regional Policy, or these regions for Regional Policy, has uh, announced that also interact programs could open up a little bit for, or a little bit, she didn't say that, could open up for uh, doing something for the refugees. I think this is something, of course, we have, which, which is brand new, we haven't done anything about this yet, but we'll have to develop and we'll find out what our pro program can do in this light, perhaps within, probably within the existing priorities. But Anyway, that's just a novelty I wanted to share with you. Um, this cohesion policy doesn't make any sense, doesn't have a success. And I think, if, yeah, nowadays, uh, and I'll come back to that a bit more, on the level of uh, programs and project uh, level, results count. And I think Europe is doing uh, barometer surveys yearly, asking a thousand people in every member state some opinions. And one of the things they always ask is, um, do you feel... European, not instead of being English, British, uh, uh, Londoner, uh, whatever, but are you feeling European? And um, this is an, an, an ever increasing little, little percentage that is going up. Uh, now the EU average is 67%, um, and remarkably enough, the U UK average is 56. So I find that remarkable. Um, <laughs> I think some people start, start, should start listening a bit. Um, so, Europe, cohesion policy, that's what this was all about. And, you know, your, your collaboration, I think, um, I made uh, a case of that. Just a little bit back to the uh, current program, which, which funded your project with 50.5%, uh, which in itself was a specific percentage, because we do 50% uh, usually. 1% for the <coughs> initiative uh, part was, was there, so it was a project which uh, was close to the heart of the member states <coughs> sorry, that decide on the projects. We had 114 projects, um, of which um, 10 were working on biomaterials and all that stuff, so that was something that 25 million euros spent on that, with, created um, with some 100, 100 partners, and LG included. Um, but all the other 140 projects together, so all the projects together, have created something like, and this is a little overview which you can find on our website, there is a report which is um, collecting the information until 2000, uh, end of 2013. Actual data are of course uh, bigger, it says that there are 1,400 jobs created, we now are at 1,800 jobs created, we have created something, we, that is our 140 project of course, we, in real we, we do not, as a secretariat, we do not really, uh, yeah, we created wrong jobs, but um, that's it. Um, 1,200 marketable products and services. In many projects, uh, these are, are aimed at. 400 new enterprises, uh, a leverage of something like 600 million uh, all around, very roughly estimated, and all 
kind of uh, something more than 350, uh, or no, a bit less than 350 uh, natural resources and waste management imp uh, um, uh, measures implemented. You know, I think it's very clear that, that um, <coughs> an algae fits to a large extent in these kind of things. Um, we, you know, when we when we look at those uh, biomass, bioenergy projects that we have uh, been funding, there were some challenges like uh, NWE area is a specific area. Um, I'll just give you the, the, the map. It's a dense area. It has territorial uh, uh, specificities. Um, and for those territorial specificities, I think NWE, sort of our program sort of identified challenges in uh, bio energy biomass and of course a few of them, those were very simple like our area is a huge uh, importer of energy our area is a huge creator of waste uh, our area also have, has huge capacity on enterprises and research so there is drawbacks there is opportunities and I think uh, the program uh, and Ten projects, but specifically and NLG make use of those kind of things. Uh, the, those ten projects focused on, on, on green technologies. They created um, um, the, the, the discussion, and, and all of those ten projects, in my view, were very much aware of this, uh, this uh, let's say, co competition for, for space, for, for fake space which is used for food, or for space which is used for uh, bio uh, materials or bio energy. So um, we've seen a wide array of projects on those, uh, and LG was an important and specific one, and therefore it also got this specific um, little extra attention as a strategic initiative. Uh, for today, I think I've seen, uh, basically for me there are two main uh, things that, that are something to take home, is um, <coughs> this discussion that uh, basically energy from LG is not, perhaps not yet, or not at this moment anyway, not really um, a good performing alternative for, for uh, let's say, the traditional uh, fuels. Um, okay, that's an important uh, thing to know. And, but there was also this hopeful little thing like when we scale up, we might, you know, I think that's perhaps something we, we need to explore. We need to explore whether the scaling up is really uh, something that would work. <clears throat> and the other part is also basically um, Research what they want and um, research, but that's a very big, <coughs> big, uh, big thing, of course. And what enterprises want, and I thought also, also that uh, that discrepancy became very clear, clear to me. Like, um, yeah, enterprises look for the others, the other uh, use, uses for biomass or algae, anyway. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have, a, I have a stupid cough that's it, <coughs> interfering. Um, and research, and I think perhaps we as funders or, or managers of funds or, or the politicians that's creating uh, those uh, fund, fundings have created this a little bit. Uh, the research is still very much in this uh, research for energy. I don't know, perhaps one or two can make, can, uh, can make three and uh, they can come together. Of, all, of course, concretely, <laughs> I hope that this one. In one of the previous sessions, there was a bio or uh, alcohol um, um, uh, liquor, and that perhaps might pass. <laughs> was it Geneva? I think it was the blue Geneva, wasn't it? <coughs> anyway, from the from the and of course that leads to the practical things. What will stay on the decision supports tool? The uh, the um, the thing showed on the website. The, uh, the uh, algae information network, which is hosted by Jubia, I call them perhaps, perhaps I should call them different. Anyway, I think that's, those kind of things will stay, and those kind of things will, will, will stay on. And I think um, <coughs> from there on, looking to what the new program, uh, the 2014-2020 pro program will do, and what, what um, I think I can, well, this is what I see when I, I'm, I, you know, I'm a sailor, when I get my anchor off, this is sometimes what I get. Um, this is the new program, so the area remains the same, the um, money almost the same, the percentage goes up a bit, we go up to 60%, that's interesting to know, um, but more interesting and more importantly, um, those things that have changed have, have created more, have, have drawn more, more attention. 
we would, we've uh, focused much more in the program to three topics. I'll show them, show them later. So that already in the program there's focus, but also in the project we would like to see much more focus. The wide integrated projects would, would, uh, with, with, you know, it's difficult to measure the results. And um, that's definitely the other one, results. If you, if you look and uh, count it in the, in the program document, because of course we had to create a, a program document, which is the official document to be approved by the Commission, the European Commission. This program document contains the word implementation, and just only counting the word implementation, not implementing or whatever, for, for 99 times. So the program is about implementation, doing something real, creating something which is measurable, products, services, those kind of words you will find in, in that document. So this is what we definitely uh, would like to go forward to, but looking at what you have done, I think there are huge opportunities if you look at those, uh, uh, all those uh, um, uh, areas, all those ch value chains that you can create and where you can contribute or can even create new ones. So I think also <coughs> looking for, uh, for, for opportunities in our program, I would say there is, if you go to the step beyond, uh, if you go to the step direction market, there is no change. Um, Long-term results and collaboration, uh, I think they are clear. Uh, we, we, are going, we are asking you, with a, with a new application for, for instance, very simply and concretely, what's going to happen at the end of your project, um, and that's what's going to be results, or in, an, in another way you can simply say, who's going to be better off at the end of your result? But we're also asking the same question, can you also estimate for us what's going to be, who's going to be better off and how much is this person, what are those people going to be better off five years and ten years after your project? Because it's really about, you know, not creating more uh, projects, uh, st studies and strategies that disappear somehow and some that should be in the long run, but creating stuff that continues, that it has its own dynamics. Um, that's really, I would say, the um, thing for the new program. Uh, the, the, um, the three priorities, it's very simple, it's innovation, it is low carbon, which you can't reach probably, and it is uh, resources and materials efficiency. I would say it splits already the project up, the energy part goes to low carbon and the um, and resource materials goes in, into uh, the, 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 the other substances go here. But anyway, that's not, not for me to judge, I think, any, um, it's just, uh, just looking at it. Um, Processes have changed also. This is an ugly picture, but still it explains a little bit what we try to do in a two-step approach. And the two-step approach is designed basically to create, uh, to keep people, um, to, to prevent that many people do a lot of efforts for something which is not needed. And we have done our first call for proposals. Um, the first call for pro proposals we have we received uh, 82 uh, applications, 19 were uh, to go on to step two. That means that 63 have basically done quite some work for not really much. And I think that's really what we want to change. We want to, uh, to, to, to prevent that many people do a lot of work without any results. For us, uh, that's basically what we do as a step two, two step approach, which is sort of, well, if this is your project intervention logic, you know, from, from what you want to change to the result with all the, the inputs and outputs that come in with that. Uh, if you look at, um, yeah, okay, you of course have to value money to, to measure and to evaluate, but if this is your project, then this would be your step one, which is basically just looking at what do you need to change, why do you need public funding and public funding for a program like ours, or any other program, I think you have to answer this question anyway. What are the objectives of this project, but this can still be very much changed, what will be the result? And it's, that is step one, in my view. If you can... It, 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 we would like to see a, a concept note. What's your idea? What you're going to do? That prevents you to do s stuff like this, which is about uh, inputs, uh, action plans, uh, actions, work packages, uh, budgets, outputs. You know all these things which are necessary for a project. But you can only do that in the second stage. Where we are convinced, and the, our ambition is, with the support of the program uh, contact points in all the countries and the secretariat in Lille that we get those projects, for instance the 19 that have been approved in July, that we get hopefully 100%, but perhaps 90% we get through. That's our ambition. Basically support everyone to get those technical things, which are, and uh, we, that's feedback from many, many projects, 
which are very big and public problem for many projects, to get those technical things uh, arranged with our help. And um, that way, I think we want to try and continue investing in opportunities. Thank you very much. said earlier, in, your, in, the, in the delegate packs, um, everybody was, the people were issued with this morning, there's some information that you might not be aware of. On the USB stick, they've actually got copies of all the project <coughs> outputs to date. Um, they're copies of reports, um, there's copies of scientific papers on there, um, digital copies of some of our report cards that provide a summary of progress on each year. Um, there'll be, just keep an eye open on the website, there'll be more, more reports and outputs coming up on the website um, in, in due course before the end of the year. Um, from, as a result of today, we'll collect all the information um, from today, your, your input to the discussion groups particularly and, and the panel discussion this morning, all very valuable, thank you. So we'll be collecting the information uh, and, and, and writing up a, a, re a report that will be sent out to everybody. Um, summarising the key points from today's event. Uh, and, and on that note, I mean, I, there's nothing else to say really other than to just thank everybody again very much for your time today, um, for, for the, the, the valuable input you've put into the various discussion groups. Thank you very much for all the speakers and, and, and again for everybody at UBIA and the University of Florence who organised the event. Um, so thank you, a big round of applause to everybody. Thank you. I'd like to all thank Sean as well for his um,